who's planning on marrying Dodie. And she was pregnant with a daughter. She was pregnant with a little girl. And Charles was not behind that, nor the Queen. There was a money-making system behind it. She was going into landmines, wasn't she, in Africa and doing all sorts of things for people. She was she was the first. There was the stigma of the, the AIDS. She she went into the hospitals and hooked, wasn't it, or kissed an AIDS patient or. She hasn't a living daughter. She was she passed into spirit with a fetus in her womb. She she struggled with bulimia. And um it rooted back to I was thinking of channeling her actually channeling her at some point on a video. I've got a few people up my sleeve, guys. I'm gonna channel Karen Carpenter which I'm, I need to find the time to do, Diana, and I want to do, you're going to laugh, right? I'm going to do something which I'm planning on doing. I've been watching a few documentaries and I fell into it by mistake, but I've always been fascinated with them, is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the, the famous outlaws. I want to do something about them as well. I thought it was fascinating. Um, so at some point I'm going to channel them as well. But I'm going to channel Diana. And I'm sort of getting her a bit now. She's buried. She's buried where she's supposed to be buried. And it's all secluded off, isn't it? But she had bulimia. She suffered with bulimia. And there was something to do with her mother and father splitting up. The, there was insecurities a lot of young women get that don't they and being in the public eye and that and she had this thing that she was overweight and she struggled with that she struggled with bulimia yeah no I think I might have to watch the film I might have Glinda I might have to watch the Paul Newman and Robert Redford Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid And she loves her boy so much. And she is mortified. Sort of getting her a bit here. Wait a minute. I, I think I'm getting her. Wait a minute. Diana. I love my boys very much. <sighs> what happened to me was a great tragedy. Not the fact that I left Earth suddenly, that I was ripped away cruelly from my darling boys. The monarchy will survive, the monarchy will go on, my son will stand and take the next crown. This system has to change. The evil, the wicked. And this lies within our press, within our society. 
and this is still happening today. I love Charles very much, as you know. And I never hid what he did to me. But I picked myself up, I dusted myself down, and I found love again. The establishment, not of the crown, but of the three-tiered system that rules our society. I am with my love. We have had many lives together. I still love Charles. He is a good man, but he failed. He failed our marriage. I have no regrets. My boys, my beautiful boys, I reach out to them every day. And she does love him. <laughs> I am annoyed that she did that, but quite courageous. Speck in her. Sprite in her. It takes the younger generation to break everything, to break the silly rules. What should never be restricted, not even within the royal family. She does love him. I'm worried for him. They meet, they fall in love. And that's what happened to me. I was a princess. I had the fairy tale wedding. But I could not fit in. I was not a one for fitting in. And neither was Megan. This history of repeating itself. But it was written that I met Charles, that I had my boys. Earth is changing. I fear my son, Harry, Their marriage will not make it, but it is part, as this channeler says, part of their spiritual journey. My son will come back to England. Just laughing. And you are right, Louise. English laws. It was planned and I was taken out. This was not an accident what happened to me. To protect the channeler, I cannot say, but they know, they know who did this. And there is a great cover up and a great network. What is a great what is global 
And I touched upon that with a project that me and Dodie, myself and Dodie, were about to take on. And this was about saving the children. You see, information of true information can get mixed up within disinformation. All I am going to say is This large network is a criminal activity which is ruling governments, establishments, churches. The church, our society. And where you may witness many people suddenly believe in this planet it does not mean it's natural the government is being ruled by mafia organizations and Columbus societies Many of your idols previously have been taken out the same by the same people that took me out. I flit between dimensions. I save and I look after the children. I am back where I come from. And my short time on earth was written. But if I had have lived on, this cruel organization what took me, took my life cruelly. I would have had my way and taken the boys out of England and it would have changed their destiny path. And there is a war, there is a war going on. Out of this physical world, between the good and the evil, so how the evil took me out. It saved the boys. Because cruelly, if I hadn't have gone, the boys would not be here now. I am worried for Harry's safety. And be it if he has to come back with Megan to England, he must. It is cloudy, it is faded. There is no more children that I bed but William and Harry. I wanted more, that is true. And I stand in the spirit world now with my beautiful daughter. My princess.
I'm worried for Harry. I worry for Megan and Harry are doing digging what I did. She is hot headed, hot headed. She works on passion. And they will stumble upon these people. Remember France. That was a where I shouldn't have been. And if I was not there then those criminals would not have taken me out. I need him removed. I need him to come home. The letter R holds the key. The rose of ill. My brother knows the truth, my dearest brother. I have forgiven daddy for the pain, for the suffering. Mummy left. And the abuse from my stepmother. If Harry comes home, he will end up being the great advocate for mental health and to empower people. Send him love, send them both love, not hatred. And this helps the beings who are stuck in a time warp to make the right choices and to free them from evil. This is your princess, Lady Diana, forever. You are all forever in my heart. I love you all. Charles broke my heart, but he is not a bad man. He has not long. The boys need the love and the support. William and Kate will have another child, another daughter. Goodbye for now. Thank you, Diana. One more thing. I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be an artist. One of my grandchildren will be on stage. One of my grandchildren will be on screens. The day I danced with John Travolta, 
was one of the happiest moments of my life. Love and light to all you beautiful souls. Until the next time, this is Diana. Oh my god, guys. Oh. I've got to put these tarot cards away. It's like, oh my god. I'm going to try and clip that and put that onto YouTube because I don't think it'll come through the same. You've got to wait for them to cut. Oh my God, I've got to go drink. Two minutes. Uh, sorry for getting emotional. It's just, it's a... I feel utterly honoured that she's come through. I don't even know everything I was saying. But... Oh, give us two minutes. Won't be a minute. Guys, I would, that was not planning on that tonight. I still feel her energy for a minute. I don't know how far she was coming into us, but I really feel she was like there. I've never felt an energy like that before. I've channeled some beautiful souls before. I believe she did suffer with things that she never got. She's healing now on the other side from that. I've got the shakes. Is that normal? I need some chocolate. She did find her happiness in the end. It was so sad. She wishes she never took that France trip. I need a cigarette. Shouldn't really, but... I think I need some hot chocolate with marshmallows on after that. Lance, when you listen to this back, you will be shocked at how your voice became Diana's voice, really. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Diana. I've uh, have a biscuit. Biscuit. I need a, I need a bloody gin. Never mind a biscuit. Oh my god. Uh, pick it a penguin. I'm shaking. Did I sound like a... It's a penguin. McVitie's penguin. I feel honoured. And she knows I love the boys. She knows I love them. And I think that's how she's come through. And I've wanted to do it. Because of all the misinformation. But you can't just plan it and go and film it. You've got to... That's why I've been waiting for Karen Carpenter to come through. And you've got to wait for them to come through. And you've got to... 
Try and connect with them. Send the wishes out. <sighs> I got a laugh. No way. Mm -hmm. She's worried about Harry, isn't she? So did I sound like a Lance? Because sometimes channeling doesn't always, you don't always sound like them. She was pregnant with a baby girl, yeah, I believe. Wait a minute, Willow. Louise, please off topic. But if it's not the wrong moment, <coughs> we have a little boy, what? Four years old, almost five, missing for months, named Cody Bixby. Is the father involved or we, should we continue to look? Are you talking about a, a human baby? Not a dog, a human baby? Contact us an email. I'm all over the place. I'm apologies. I need to look into it properly for you. Obviously, that's important. If you looked away from the screen, all I could hear is Diana. Seriously, Lance. I don't so you went you went quiet when I was doing all the Trump stuff. <laughs> and Diana uses the word what a lot? Flit a lot, does she? Oh my God. I'm just chilling guys with you and I'm going to go soon and get my pyjamas on and there's no way now I can go back into will predictions after that. It's two o'clock in the morning anyway. I just need to calm myself down before I come offline. <laughs> you channeled a true and royal queen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Louise, you need to decompress and have a shot of whiskey, brandy in your tea. Yeah, I wish I had some. We should have a pyjama party. What did my face look? Didn't obviously my face didn't change. Was it just my voice? Oh God! I can't believe she come through. Letter O. That is Richard. K. Who's Richard K? A name starting with the letter O holds the key. I'll send you a bottle of a bottle of good Kentucky bourbon. Oh, that sounds nice. Who's Richard Key? A very a famous journalist. I looked normal. You went very posh, did I? They know who was behind her death. What was the hand movements like? I think Diana, the, the, the energy I was getting from her was that she she rebelled against the whole royal thing, you know. She she married she wanted to be that princess like any young girl did at the time, you know. I worked at the hospital when Diana got married. Um and when the other one got married as well. <laughs> and at the time, Sister Smith, she was the sister, and there was me, Karen, there was a few of her underneath her. Sister Smith was lovely. She was like Hattie Jakes off the Carry On films. And she never had any children. She used to call us her girls. 
and she was like the old fashioned sister. You're talking nurses when nurses were nurses. So when she came in onto the ward, you stood up, you know, you there was respect, you know. Uh this is when we wore hats. And um I forgot what I was gonna say there. It was um Diana's dress, you know, we all wanted to know what Diana's dress was gonna be like, you know. And it was all this froth and everything, but there was millions watching her getting married, you know. And then she became this sort of fashion icon, didn't she? And she made it fashionable, didn't she? She was like another Jackie Kennedy, you know what I mean? She was um just amazing. There's a lot of people that don't like him. Estelle from California doesn't like him. But she was, she's saying she never stopped loving him. He broke her heart. <coughs> but this happens with many. But she's adamant he's not behind the death. The, the impression I got was a similar energy connected with GFK and Marilyn Monroe and there's, I've always said there's this hidden network. Did you catch that? What? I seen a flash. What did, what did you catch? Kiri, I missed a lot of what you said tonight. All right. It was different back then, bar closer. It was different back then. I think they will have another baby, yeah. I did, I did predict it. Yeah, something about a boys would not be here now or something. Good night. You just got to take what you can, you know. It doesn't mean that you have to agree or Columbus societies. One names another comes in. Do you think the truth will come out instead of instead of her boys? It's going to come out in an obscure way. I think Trump's going to bring it out. Something that's going to happen to Trump. Or something around Trump. It's going to unravel a lot more to come. It may never all be disclosed. You know, who killed, you know, GFK, Marilyn Monroe. Many questionables of different people. I think that we're going to witness it in a different way. But I believe that if people get away with things here, they don't get away with things when they go over, when they meet their maker. It's going to come out to do with something around Trump. I don't know where I'm getting that. Um, I mean, I question about his ex-wife. I think similar people did hear it. And I think that was a warning to him. I think there's definite mafia links around him. There was threats. You think they will see you? I really don't know. I would hate to like upset them or anything. It's the last thing they're going to be doing is watching a psychic on Twitch, are they? <laughs> I'm worried about Harry. I, my understanding is CIA and all of these corporations are connected with mafia. The church, she said as well. She said the church was. Two coronations in 2023, it's possible. I think.
think they're intercepted everywhere, Will Gawarty. Gary Grant, that's interesting. The key who killed her had initial R. She said Megan was hot-headed like herself, but she was quite for calling things out, you know what I mean? She liked her spark and was hot-headed and Megan and Harry would be close to finding out who killed her. I think that he's gone delving. And I did predict that Charles Vane would be short. You just got to, like I say, no matter what you feel about people. It's his only line of support he's got at the minute. And she is bothered about him. No matter what people think, she is bothered about him. And worried about him. Who will win the World Cup in Qatar? God knows. I'm too tired to look into it, Susan. I'll look into it my next will predictions for you. I think they've got to live out there. She'll stay in his life until it's ready for her to leave. But he's he's not strong enough to, to cope with the split with her yet. It would kill him. He's not strong enough yet to cope with the split from her yet. Because I don't think he wants to. And there's such thing as free will. I believe so, me. I believe that there's been interceptions with mafia within them as well. And I'm saying mafia, you know. I think there's um, mafias and then there's mafias, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about good fellas here from Italy, you know what I mean? And in New York, I'm talking far dirtier than that. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I'm just still like, she might come through again. Imagine if she come through again. She would say a prayer for Harry. And she would say, I think we need to say a prayer for peace as well, for to stop these evil corporations and for the good guys, the white hats to win. Oh, Rita, you need to look back through it. If you just come in. Debbie, I channel Diana. Right, let's say a big, let's say a prayer. I thank you, Lord Jesus. All the angels, Michael, for protecting me tonight in having the privilege and to bring through Diana. Thank you, Diana, Lady Diana, for coming forward with your love and your honesty and your truth. And we all send a prayer tonight in this circle to protect Harry. And I want to say Prince Harry because he's still, she's saying, oh my God, I've got to come back. <laughs> Every time I say that name, just come back. She, he will always be my prince in my eyes. Whoa, she's coming back in. We are doing this prayer for you, Diana, to protect your boy, your boys. You must not worry. God is protecting him. Harry is very headstrong. Harry has the Spencer spark.
really bad as my angel. A mother's love does not cut away after death. A mother's love is eternal. I will come through again and bring more information. I find this group very true and honest. I bring forth a crystal from heaven to bless you all. My ex-husband is not well. But for now I need to go. There is one little information that I must stress. Somebody in this audience tonight said, CIA connections. The CIA director knows this and has connections. They had planned my assassination on a boat that did not work and like I said before if I had not have exited I mean cruelly had my life taken there would have been a cruel twist of fate with my boys We must not stress. This is a message to the United States of America. Great change is ahead of you. There is no such thing as right side or wrong side. This is about morals, morals, we've got to feel it from our hearts. We do not choose who we are born into. Ah yes, I was privileged, but I never knew that I would be married to the King of England, the future King of England, when I was a child. Many lives can look very polished on the outside and yet have so much suffering and pain on the inside. Yes, I had a privileged life with nannies. But mummy left. And I will not speak more about this.
This message is for global. Though you must not judge the book by the cover. And one cannot judge someone's life until they have walked in their shoes. Humanity has been very deceived currently at the moment. But each and every one of you have the own keys to your car. Take control of your driving seats. And I bid you good night. I was that daisy what became that rose and a rose that was so fragile and with a split second chance my life was cruelly taken you have to enjoy every second of your life as you do not know what fate has in store. I send you peace, love and blessings. And I am the true princess of all your hearts tonight. Good night my dear friends. Good night. I'll see you Sunday night coming and I'll be on this is heavy going oh yes thank you Diana thank you Archangel Michael send us peace love blessings to heal the sick to protect the innocent to save the children, to bring joy where there's pain, and bring the truth to the forefront, and to stop all this evil doings. May angels walk on this planet from tonight. We are protected with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless. Amen. Good night, wherever you all are. And I'll see you soon. I'm off to make a cup of tea. I'll see you Sunday night. And... <clears throat> Let's see what this week has in store. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Now, how do I get out of here? I wouldn't mind. It's so heavy. I could have gone on for hours and hours. I wasn't so tired. I've got you two out here. I've got them all here. This is huge what's coming in this week. So just hold the line and just expect a storm. Expect a storm on more ways than one. Because guys, this is going to be biblical. And I'll see you next week. Good night. Bye.